Hi, this is Michael Gordon of GreatPrinterProfiles.com. I create custom printer profiles for photographers, printmakers, and anyone concerned with finest quality printed output. Today I'm going to teach you how to install and use my custom printer profiles. Uh, if you'll take a look at the printed instructions that arrived with your profile, you'll notice uh, that depending upon your operating system there's different instructions uh, telling you where to place that uh, profile on uh, Windows XP and Windows Vista it can't be more easy than just simply right clicking on the ICC profile and selecting install profile It will automatically end up in the right directory and available for you to use within Photoshop Lightroom or whatever so now that we've got that uh, profile installed, let's go ahead and uh, bring up our image that I'm going to print. I have this image sized to 10 inches wide by 7 inches tall, and it's ready to go. And all I want to do is uh, select the right printer. Again, this is the printer for which I made the custom profile. And then we're going to go ahead and go into our page setup. If you'll recall in the uh, video for printing the targets, I had instructed you to save the settings that you use to print the target so that you could recall them easily whenever you're going to make subsequent, subsequent prints using my custom profile. If you had done that, it's as simple as going into select setting and selecting that setting that you saved as a custom setup. I'll go ahead and select Museo Silver Rag RGB. This specifies that the type of the paper that needs to be selected, color, and quality. Uh, again, you'll notice mode is set to custom. This is just the same as when we printed the targets. The mode is set to custom with the drop down uh, setting as no color adjustment. Again, we do not want Epson to control our, our color management. We're going to do this from our imaging application in my choice, Photoshop. Next thing we want to do is select the correct paper settings. In this case here, we're going to make it 10 by 7 inches. It's already set to go. I always recommend selecting Print Preview. And now we'll just say OK. Looks like our image is centered properly on the uh, paper size we gave it. All we next need to do is make sure that we're set to color management. So again, Photoshop is controlling our color management. Then our color handling, we absolutely want to make sure that it's Photoshop manages colors, not printer manages colors. If you recall, we turned off color management in the printer. If we specify printer manages colors, nothing happens. So we want to specify Photoshop manages color. And then we want to go ahead and select that new profile. Wherever it may be in your profile directory, go ahead and grab it. I'll go ahead and grab my Museo Silver Rag January 210. The only other two items to address are rendering intent and black point compensation. Black point compensation should always be checked and for photographic output our rendering intent will always be either relative colorimetric or perceptual. Which uh, rendering intent depends specifically upon the printed output. Rather than uh, using your display as a soft proof for rendering intents, I uh, definitely recommend that you make prints with both rendering intents and observe them closely to determine which is the right rendering intent for you. How rendering intents handle uh, the color output, it varies between perceptual and relative colorimetric. They're handled differently. Make prints. Look at prints to determine which one's right. And that's about it. We're ready to go. Everything is set properly. I've specified the custom profile. From here, I would just select print. But I'm done, and we're done. So I hope this helped out. If you have any questions about this process, please give me a call or shoot me an email. And thank you for watching. Again, you can find us at greatprinterprofiles.com. Have a great day.